Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 14th through to the 20th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Chariot in the upright. Next, we have the Four of Pentacles reversed, followed then by the Eight of Wands in the upright. And lastly, we have the Queen of Cups in the upright. So your overall energy, Leo, is the... Um, Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, this could be somebody who is sort of dominating your week in some way. Perhaps this Earth sign is, um, you know, here offering you something because Knights usually bring in some kind of offer. So it could be that um, this night, if this is somebody you're dating, perhaps they're offering you a stable relationship. Others of you, this could be about a job offer. Definitely the Knight of Pentacles can represent a, um, an offer of gainful employment. This is also representing someone or an energy that has taken a long time to get to. Maybe for some of you, you have waited and waited and waited a long time to hear back from this uh, place that you really want to work at or hear back from a business partner because you want to get something going. But whatever this offer is, you can take it to the bank. It's a solid offer. The Knight of Pentacles is also significant for those of you who perhaps have something up for sale, such as your home, your vehicle, or something, your business. You have something up for sale, something tangible. Remember, the uh, Pentacles represent the tangible things in life, our material goods, finances. So it could be anything from an offer of money to an offer of job to an offer on your home maybe you're putting in an offer on a home whatever it is it looks like um it's definitely a solid offer coming towards you right at the beginning of the week we have some cancer energy here the uh, chariot in the upright position this is about fast movement forward towards your goals now some of you could be purchasing a new vehicle maybe some of you sold your vehicle and now you're purchasing a new one um, others of you you could be going on a road trip perhaps or perhaps you're you know purchasing a uh, an rv or something like that maybe you want to go uh you know take a trip around cross country in your new rv others of you are just moving quickly towards a goal maybe this offer came in and you're just not you know letting one second go by without jumping on it it could be that you're going quickly towards it look at the beautiful yellow that solar plexus activation feeling very confident moving towards something generally i see the kind of success um, that you get with the chariot is something that's kind of guaranteed it's like this is like a solid offer so you take it is guaranteed success so it could be that some of you have been offered a job. Maybe you have to travel a little bit to go and, uh, you know, go on this interview or what have you, or even to uh, work at this place. Maybe some of you have to travel a little bit. Sometimes the cherry can indicate travel, it can be speedy travel, maybe taking a quick trip somewhere. It can be somebody traveling to see you. It can be on the romantic front. Again, remember, these are just general reads. So it's different for all of you. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you know what this reading is about and if it resonates for you, do tell us how so. Next card up is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. Four of Pentacles in the upright. I call it my little hoarder card. This is when we're holding on sometimes too tightly to old belief systems. And when it's reversed, this is where we're letting them go. For others of you, this could be good news on the financial front. If you had had a financial obligation, that's why I think some of you could be purchasing a new vehicle or purchasing something that you had payments on before and now the payments are gone. Um, could be somebody purchased the, the vehicle from you or purchased something from you. Um, could even be a home because this could be, you know, finally being released of that mortgage type of thing. Sometimes it can point back to the Three of Pentacles in the upright. It's working in harmony with a small group of people. Again, could go back to the old job offer where you could be working with a small group of people that are like-minded and everyone's on the same page. Makes cooperation beautiful, makes life a lot smoother for sure. 
Moving on towards the weekend, we have some more speed coming at you here. It looks like it's going to be a fast, fast paced week for you, uh, Leo. The Eight of Wands is here in the upright position. This points to good news for those of you who work for yourself. This could indicate, especially if you're in sales, it could indicate a lot of sales coming your way. It could be some of you, this is also arrows of love, find their mark. Some of you could be on the dating sites perhaps and you're meeting some people. Or if you've just met someone, it could be that the communication is just flowing between the two of you. Others of you, again, can indicate um, travel, quick travel, where you just up and pick up and take off somewhere <laughs> or somebody could be coming to see you um yeah it seems like there's there's just a, it's all surrounding this whole offer here like somebody made you an offer and now it's like okay you're putting the wheels in motion but everything's just happening super fast and then the last card you have is the queen of cups in the upright position this is another court card this time we're talking about water energy cancer scorpio pisces sun moon or rising now the queen of cups could be you embodying the energies of the queen of cups showing great emotional maturity showing um that to someone it could be a love interest it could be your family or friends as you're explaining all of your comings and goings this week for others of you the queen of cups can represent somebody maybe this is a love interest like we do see cancer energy here at the beginning so maybe this is a new love interest perhaps it's come into your life and they've made a serious offer towards you maybe they want to have a serious relationship with you now and this is you showing the great emotional maturity and the, the beautiful connectedness or it's them because, you know, this can be cancer energy. So maybe it's them showing great emotional maturity and connection towards you on the emotional front. Now, sometimes the Queen of Cups can represent somebody external to you, which uh, she can be, say, a doctor. Um, she can be a, a counselor, maybe for some of you, or a a friend a good friend or a family member or something like that that you are talking to on emotional matters it comes right after the uh eight of wands in the upright position which that's also arrows of love find their mark so if this is on um maybe some of you just met somebody and they seem very solid and they're you know wanting to have a relationship with you and there's so much commotion going back and forth leaving you a little bit confused and perhaps this is someone like i said a friend a family member or even a counselor that you're talking to because the queen of cups is someone who's very grounded emotionally and you know or it could be the love interest to themselves this is somebody you're talking to show that but they're showing great emotional maturity they've run the gauntlet already on emotions they know how to process them how to deal with them and so forth but it could be you, especially if you have water in your chart. So that's what I have for you, my dear Leos. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you have a fantastic week. And um, I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.